does our police department have to carry enough firepower to wipe out the city's population five times over? The police are here to protect the people's rights and property, not to threaten them. When innocent lives are sacrificed in the name of crime prevention, the police are no better than the hoodlums they're fighting against. Madam Mayor, you should have said that to the council years ago when they set up the tank police. It's worth remembering that the percentage of civilians killed or injured in tank-related incidents is a mere 5% of incidents related to traffic accidents or bacterial poisoning. What's more, the crime rate has dropped 20% since we started using tanks. I think the police should be commended. A mere 5%? And you're proud of that? That kind of attitude could cost us our jobs. I don't think you have any idea how easily the voters could kick us right out of office. I know that the voters are happy to see muggers and rapists get their asses shut off. Make up your mind. Do you want to give in to a few fairy pinkos or keep little old ladies safe on the streets? You have a duty to everyone, and that includes rapists, murderers, and fairy pinkos. Don't give me the same crap you feed the press. The thing you really care about is getting re-elected. You can't cut out a cancer without spilling a little blood. Would you tell a surgeon to go ahead and operate, and then order him to stop while the patient, or in our case, the city, dies slowly and painfully of the tumor taking over its guts? I am not ordering the surgeon to stop. Sure you are. You can't take the heat in the kitchen. I'm simply ordering you to stop doing the operation with a blunt chainsaw. Chainsaw? A surgeon operates with a scalpel, which he takes good care to sterilize to prevent unnecessary infection. If he uses a tank, the patient tends to die. I resent that. It was you politicians who gave us surgeons those tanks in the first place. Besides, these days, tanks are about as effective as toothpicks. Toothpicks? Well, if tanks are no better than toothpicks, what would you consider as appropriate equipment for the police to use in preventing crime? I'm glad you asked me that. I wouldn't mind replacing our guns with tactical nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons? If nuclear weapons can stop war as they have done, they should be able to stop criminals. Though I'm a pessimist, I don't think we'll ever get rid of crime completely. Chief, you cannot be serious. Deadly serious. It was people like you who gave us the tanks and told us to fight the bad guys. We can argue about whether the law that set us up was a good one or not. But the law is the law, and now we're here. We're right at the sharp end of the fight against crime. And if you want law and order, I've only got one thing to say. If you want us to zap them, give us more tanks! Don't you understand? This is war, and my tank police are in the front line!
game of gladiator cars? You are. Let's go inside. Hey, the girls want to play. We won't need these then. Come on, let's go, baby. I'm in. Oh. Waku, you're overacting. Still, I admit, it's a wonderful idea. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it is, but it's pretty boring so far. Boring. Uh -huh. What are we after, anyhow? Wait till we're inside. I'll tell you then. I'm sure it won't be boring when we get to the hospital. Damn right it won't. Now hurry up and do my bandage. We're almost there. <laughs> mm, take it easy. You're killing me. Jeez, what a ham you are. Well, here we are. Hey, where do you think you're taking him? This hospital's all Out of the way! Look at his poor bandaged arm! Oh, do something for me! Save me! What about an x-ray? What about a scan? A nice shot of morphine? Okay, that's enough! I have no time to waste! This is an emergency! Oh, sorry, ladies. Can this machine really see right through me? We don't treat injured people here! Not only don't we turn away the injured, we don't treat sick people for that matter. Weren't you told that at the gate? Yes, but he wants to know if you can see through him. Never mind. The pain's all gone now, Doc, so you can let my arm out. Sit still, obey instructions, or I can't see a thing. Because I only program this computer to help me evaluate the condition of healthy patients, so it's a little bit confused. You've only programmed the computer to deal with perfectly healthy people? There's a picture coming up now. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, mm, uh, yeah. No, no, the computer's having a nervous breakdown. It's showing me a machine gun. Well, there you are. I told you I was cured. Looks like everything's uh -huh. in working order. <laughs> Stand clear while I try it out. Come on, pal. We want the names of the other punks you were with. We're supposed to be out on the beat, keeping the streets safe and clean. Pay heed to the words of my brother, for it is better to name thy accomplices and have them with thee in prison than to die by grenade, which is what's going to happen any minute now. Speaking scientifically, the bucket falls over when it's hit by a ball. The string is pulled tight, pulling the pin out of the grenade stuffed in the suspect's mouth, which leads to certain results. Oh. Try it one more time, Specs. God's too busy to be kept waiting for this sinner. Hell, I've had my turn. Al, come here and see if you can get a hole in one. Yep. <sighs> Lieutenant, are we supposed to question suspects this way? Is this by the book, Lieutenant? Listen, kid, there's two things a policeman needs. He's got to be smart and he's got to have balls. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, oh, oh. Icy swing, head still. Grip the club firmly. Yep. As though you were wringing out a towel. Come on, boy. We've been patient long enough, but you can give him one final chance if you want to. Five bucks says he won't confess. Five bucks says he will. Where'd it go? Oh! Uh, what do you want, baby? You're trespassing on a men's party. It's pretty unfriendly in here. I'm not impressed, and that's an understatement. Sorry if you find us a little rough. So what can the tank police do for you? <clears throat> Sir, Officer Leone Ozaki transferred to the tank police from the city motorcycle headquarters unit. I think they sent us a girl. <laughs> wow, I had no idea the tanks were this huge. And those big cannons at the front. Hey. Hey, were you the one? Was it you who aimed this at me? Huh? Well, yes, but, uh... <laughs> Well, I suppose we all make the odd mistake. Let's forget it. Uh, oh! <laughs> Shit! Run for it! Take cover! Must mean virus atmosphere pollution room. Ah! This is it. Oh! Creepy. Where are we? Boy, what a really weird place. <laughs> This is what we tricked our way in here to get. <laughs> hmm. Smells terrible. Well, the main thing is we got it. Hey! Sure made a mess of those guys. Huh? Hey. You're surrounded! You can't escape! Lay down your weapons and surrender! I didn't bring this machine gun to surrender! Hey, don't you just love being in the spotlight? I don't remember having such a big audience in a long time, do you? You haven't forgotten the routine. You bet I haven't.
Done good back in this squad room. That punk was pretty shook up. The chief said he confessed to seven counts of murder without even being asked. The chief didn't like the way we got those confessions. Happens all the time, don't worry about it. it goes on all the time? I'm gonna make a protest and have the rules changed to make them stop. Right, I don't approve of torture myself. We're just as bad as the mobsters are sometimes. Who said anything about torture? It's interrogation. Our men are about the best in the business and we always get results. Nobody can stand up to tank police questioning. <laughs> Lieutenant, we just got an emergency backup call from the SWAT team. Tell them I'm a bit busy at the moment because I'm teaching some rookie basic patrol maneuvers. They tell me they're only a couple of blocks away. What are they are? So they stumbled on some crack dealer bank raid. Those poor little wimps can't even change their diapers by themselves without backup from the tank police. But if there's a crime going on, we've got to go and help. Now pin your ears back and listen to me. We get a crime of some kind every 36 seconds within the precincts of the city we patrol. My main job as tank police commander is to make sure it won't rise to one every 35 seconds. Get it? Sure I do. They call it the tank police deterrent function. In the textbooks, maybe, but it ain't like that on the street. Oh, how is it? Say we answer every crime call that comes in. In no time at all, this precious tank will be beat up. And the first basic patrol rule is to love your tank like a brother, no matter what. Love your tank like a brother. <laughs> somebody's butted my butt! Somebody's rammed our ass! For Pete's sake, Anapuna, you dumb cluck of all the obstacles you might have hit, you had to rear end the tank police? Huh. Why'd he have to park that big heap of iron right in the middle of the street where he'd be hit for sure? It was his fault! Oh, yeah. Right. As long as he sees it that way. Are you out of your mind? You're messing with the tank police. <laughs> Come out and get ready to die because you're gonna get your heads blown off. Come out, I said, and take what's coming. Come and get ready to die. Hmm? Yeah, but your tank's blocking away. <laughs> They've got the lieutenant. Leona, follow that ambulance. Step on it. Ah! I've got no license to drive this on my own. I'm still a learner. No time to argue. Put your foot down and pretend you're on your motorbike. Yeah. Oh, 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 my oh. Hey, where are you taking the tank? I thank my brother. This is kidnapping stuff. I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Come back. Wait for me. You'll be sorry for this. I'll cut you to death. Oh, my beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah. Back, so speed her up. Turbo, 
fire. Don't yell at me. It doesn't help. Okay, which is the button to turn it on? Place you think I've had, and you didn't even catch Waku's gang. Sorry. Two hundred claims for damages against the police, and you didn't even catch Waku's gang. You call yourselves an elite force? Well, sort of. Four hundred claims against the police, and you even allowed Waku's gang to get away. Well, call yourselves an elite force? It's my fault. Yeah, I know, but that's not the main reason I'm bawling you out. The reason I'm mad is that you wasted my tank! <gasps> that tank was no ordinary tank. Armor-plated with an engine that had run all day and all night. I wouldn't expect a girl to understand. Only a man could appreciate how I feel. You'd never let me down. A real four-cracked friend, so strong and virile. My God, I love that tank! It was too big for me, that was the trouble. It wasn't at all like the motorcycles I've been used to. Be quiet! It takes a real man to appreciate the fact that bigger is better, and it always has been. Listen, kid, a nice girl like you has no business here. Transfer to the child welfare department where the boys are more your size. You mean... you're throwing me out? Huh? Wait a minute, it's me who ought to be crying. What have you got to cry about? It's me that lost the tank, and no one else has the right to cry! Go ahead and cry, then! Uh, huh? What? Did she say cry? I ain't taking that! Lieutenant! Yeah, real yeah. men don't cry. It's her or me. One of us is gonna die. The bitch had better have a gun when I get to it. Hey, come on. Let's cool him off in the shower or someone will get hurt. Let it go! CO2 and H4 twice, whatever that means. 90% purity, the label says. This some kind of new drug? Nothing new about it. As a matter of fact, it's a batch of urine. Yeah, did you say urine? I did, but you'll be relieved to know that it comes from a perfectly healthy human being. 
It's still piss, whatever its origin. I've had enough for one night. Let's go. Hold on, Lieutenant. Hold on. Tell me, Doctor, is there any intrinsic value in this urine? I mean, can it be used to make new medicine, say? Certainly not medicine, though I've read there once was a time they used it to fertilize fields, but I'm not an expert in those matters. And you say this sample came from a perfectly healthy human being? Sometimes they're still found, though they've become rarer and rarer, with every day the cloud remains up above us. Our work is to study them and treat them. That's our function in this hospital. You mean to say you only get healthy patients admitted to this hospital? Don't kid us around! Pardon? I don't kid about the patients we have here. Don't get smart with me, Doc! Listen, how'd you like to go downtown? things up? The lieutenant went to the VAP hospital. You look bushed. You had a really tough first day, Leona. Mm -hmm. You should be wearing a mask out under God's sky. Chaplain, I'm sorry. I never meant it. The lieutenant knoweth that. But that tank was to him like unto a much-loved son. Well, no wonder he was mad, I suppose. The lieutenant, is he married, do you know? <laughs> if he's married to anybody, he's married to the tank police. But you mustn't think we blame you for what happened. You like being in the police? Yeah, I suppose. You like being one of the tank police? Maybe. In that case, I prophesy thou will eventually grow to love our tanks as the lieutenant doth. Maybe. <laughs> thou art a good child. Thy honesty is pleasing to my ears. Mm. And I got a great idea. Dick Doc talking all that medical crap. <clears throat> How was I supposed to make out what he was on about? It's slightly simpler once you realize that all of us living under the bacterial cloud are to some extent poisoned by it. In fact, speaking medically, we're all pretty poor specimens. I'm no specimen and I feel just fine. Are you telling me that quack was saying I'm seriously sick? He stood there telling us, bragging that he only treats healthy people who don't need him in the first place. If doctors are only gonna treat healthy people, then the police should go robbing banks. Let's go and rob a bank. Huh? I've wanted to rob one for years, but I've kept myself pure. But today the time's come. Wait a second. Perhaps I didn't make it clear. The point I was trying to make was we're feeling perfectly well in spite of being ill because most of us have developed an immune system to the poisonous effects of the bacteria. Louis Pasteur, Lieutenant? Anthrax, smallpox, stuff like that. You follow me? Hey, hey, I'm not completely dumb, you know. Right, then, let me expand on the point a bit. You see, now that all of us have been infected by the cloud, the reason we don't die when we breathe the contaminated air is that the cloud's been up there for generations. We've been adapting to it for generations. And now we're immune. Wearing masks is pretty pointless because the bacteria won't affect us anyway. Right, so what did he mean by talking about the people he's got in the hospital being healthy? 
What he was saying was they found some people haven't developed antibodies the way the rest of us have got them. Hmm? Why don't they have antibodies? The doctors don't know. The point is they don't have antibodies and they aren't dead. That means they haven't been affected by the cloud, so they're healthy. In theory, at least. How could someone be healthy in theory? We've been trying to find ways to break up the bacterial cloud for years. Well, suppose we manage that somehow. We'd be left with bacteria in our blood, which would probably find some new way to attack, leaving our antibodies helpless. No, I've got it. Why didn't the quack explain it simply? You know what doctors are. Now I understand, Specs. You're a genius. Watch out! What? Yeah. Commander, have you been hurt? Ah, uh, I'll kill whoever left this land round here. <laughs> hey, these are bits of my tank. Ah! <laughs> What are you doing under that heap of scrap, Lieutenant? He wants to know what I'm doing in this heap of scrap. <laughs> Taking a rest, naturally. The chaplain's just given us the idea of the century. <laughs> what idea? <laughs> I can't wait to hear what it is. Was it to send me to an early grave, eh? <laughs> You're buried pretty near up to your eyebrows in that scrap heap. Captain going down with his ship? The idea is to build a mini tank for Leona to drive using bits of the wreck of your old Tiger Special. Huh? And I've got a name ready, Bonaparte. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, I think it's real cute. Thanks. And it'll be the best tank the tank police have. Just wait and see. As we're gonna build a tank from scrap, we don't need to pass around a collection plate to finance it. Yeah, that's just dandy. You can use the parts of my tank that she wrecked and I'm supposed to be delighted. Yeah, a toy tank! I know you came here to sabotage the tank police while well, I'm busting my ass trying to solve the piss case. You're designing the toy tank using what's left from my tiger special after you wrecked it. I know what you're thinking. I'm lucky to have men with so much initiative. My tank won't just work. My tank will be the best. Your tank will work. Of course I know it will. Off your aspects and burn rubber over to the hospital. Make sure that what you were saying is what the doc meant. And meanwhile, I might have a nervous breakdown. I've gone mad. I'll be back as fast as possible, sir. Try and keep a grip on yourself. And as for you... You mean me, Lieutenant? Get your toy tank made, then report to the Child Welfare Department. <laughs> I said child welfare. You hear me? But you're not being fair. No, maybe not, but you heard me. <gasps> and that's an order. Remain indoors. You have been warned. 